I'd like to do a video discussing the recent terrorist attacks and a little bit about UK knife law, self defence, things of that nature. So to start off with, as you'll be no doubt aware, um, in the UK there's been a handful of terrorist attacks within the last month or so. Two of which attacks involve knives. Not knives like this. Maybe even not knives like this. This machete here. No, knives like these. Kitchen knives. Not spilling the other day. So, how exactly would banning knives like these prevent terrorism? And it's not just terrorism. Other gang-related violence, anything of the sort. How is gonna? How how is banning knives like these? Or like these even, gonna gonna stop people getting stabbed with these. It just seems absolutely ridiculous. I've also saw some individuals on social media commenting we need to ban the sale of sharp knives. Now that doesn't really make any sense because knives can need to be sharp to do their job. I think what the individual was referring to is the um the pointy tip. Well Knives kind of need that for piercing, for um, opening packaging to make it easier to cut into your steak, things like that. And even even if you did ban the sale or ownership of knives with um, with pointy tips, it's not really going to reduce anything. They're still going to use the slasher, or even if you get a bench, a a, a vice, and um, and file it down, you can put the tip back on there. The, the, such laws wouldn't be effective in the slightest. But never mind knives. It's not just knives you should consider. Let's just assume we ban the sale of all pointed knives. Well, what about this? We're going to ban the sale of these two. Just a long screwdriver. Let's compare it to this kitchen knife. This is the longest kitchen knife we have in the drawer. Probably about a foot long. Maybe just under. Well, look at the length of the screwdriver, same size. You, you would still do a lot of damage being stabbed with this. There are so many other items as well, other than knives or even screwdrivers that you can use for violence, such as scissors. Or even a Stanley knife. I mean, if you were to ban the point on these, you're completely defeating the purpose. I mean, you kind of need the point for opening boxes and cutting carpets. So why would banning the sale of these with a point make any difference? It wouldn't. I don't think these people have actually stopped to think about what they're saying. And it's not just tools like that. What about an axe? There's already been a few attacks in Germany with axes and I have absolutely no doubt there'll be more. Hammers. Hammers have also been used in terrorist attacks. Recently in France I believe a terrorist tried to attack a police officer, now of course another police officer shot him, but of course let's just ignore that fact. No reason you can't attack someone with this, pruning saw. My point here being, it doesn't really matter what you ban, people will always, no matter what, find a way to hurt each other. You can ban every single one of these items today, it will not make one little bit of difference to these people who want to do harm. 
And let's not forget, the terrorists also use vehicles such as cars, lorries, vans. We're going to ban those too. The latest attack, the terrorists had their van full of petrol bombs. Are we also going to ban the sale of petrol? Good luck driving your car, operating your lawnmower or anything, without petrol. But people say we should ban these things to save lives. Well, if you ban cars, you'll save hundreds of thousands of lives. I mean, look at it this way, though. If you ban petrol, people can still make fires with alcohol just as easily. So, what's the difference? Yeah, that's another good point I never even thought of. So, the point is, it does, doesn't matter what you ban, people will always find a way to hurt each other. And in the UK, and especially Scotland, knives have a lot of regulation as it is. Already I cannot walk into a shop and buy a knife like, like these, or even a small pocket knife such as this one. I mean, if you look at this thing, this thing is tiny. It's still dangerous, you can still kill someone with it. I have to try a bit. But this is only legal to carry because the blade folds and does not lock and it's under three inches. But in Scotland, the law has gotten so ridiculous that you, that you need, well, I'm not sure if this is all shops, but um, last time I tried to purchase a knife, I was in the uh, Edinburgh City Centre. And I had to show um, a passport or a driving licence. Well, I have neither, so I couldn't buy it, but that's how extreme the law has already gotten. I cannot walk in a shop and buy one of these now. How much further? I mean, I could, I, could, I cannot walk into a shop and buy one of these. But I can go and buy one of these. Please tell me the difference. I can walk in any shop, lawfully buy one of these. The only question they're going to ask is I'm over 18. Any idea will probably do. This one, they're going to want something more. Now granted, I've only ever had this issue once, so I'm not entirely sure if it's law or if it's just the shop's policy. Nonetheless, this is absolutely ridiculous. How far is it going to go? I think I made my point. This is just getting absolutely ridiculous. Would you like to add anything else? Well, there's one thing I'd want to say. Thank you for watching this video. This is Pat Moon. May the bog be with you. And this is Scotsman762. We'll see you later. Thank you.